father's money is not my money. What did you say? Visitor, I got a little car. Conclusion. Another man for this, another voice. What did you say? Go and ask your grandfather. Hi guys, welcome back. I said, welcome back. Yes, I said, welcome back. <laughs> I'm useless. To Wako's review. Hi, my name is Prince. I do reviews. If you are new here, it's tradition for you to kneel and beg me. But today you are lucky. You don't, you don't need to beg me. All you just need to do is to lie down on the ground and subscribe. Turn on post notification so you'll be notified when I upload. Like this video also. Okay, rolling through. <laughs> So far, we've watched three episodes of this show. I'm ranking them based off names. We have Men as Scum, which is episode one, talking about the problems she faced in the hands of men. Then we have Small Girl with a Big God. It's all about her sleeping with men just to live a particular lifestyle that is obviously fake. Then we have Daddy Issues. This is where Red TV was like, yep, feminists will never watch this show. This episode introduced the new character, Lara, in a very funny, but awesome way it started with them going to this boutique and wanting to have like a private session in the shop and the shop manager was like no we don't do that here this is a respectable company that stands with the loyal take this everyone get out of my shop leave here right now the manager chased everyone out of the shop to allow lara and her friends shop and this is where we see her for the first time you already know that i'm in love she's fine some might even say she's beautiful by some i mean me if i add that your bill will be 3.8 What kind of woman being is this? The scene starts off with four ladies talking about men and this is what guys sometimes think girls do in their spare time. But with the advent of feminism, some guys, e.g. me, can't say that again without getting on the back of our head because we are judging too soon. But it's so nice to know that shows like this really depict what girls really do with their spare time and that is talk about men. <laughs> You people are going to finish me in the comment section. It's all jokes, please. I'm a comedian. Don't don't get angry. I'm 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 kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Take it easy. Please. Take it easy. Easy. I know you're typing. Take it easy. Listen, what kind of erection can an 80-year-old man have? Conclusion. Lara friends are like her backbone. She needs them to stroke her ego, but also she wants to train them in the act of trade by butter. You, you get the trade, they are, they are trading their body. You understand? So, with the main aim of training her friends, she meets this general named Olada Paul, who is addicted to gambling and his net worth is $12 billion. They talk and talk. The man said something funny. They laughed. It wasn't that funny. It's just because it's just old, so it's courtesy of us to just laugh like. <laughs> ah, that's the funniest thing ever. Every time he had such a beautiful flower in his garden. <laughs> Yeah. But because she knew he was a serious gambler, she took advantage of his habits and gambled $100,000, which is 36 million naira. Yeah, I'm not shocked anymore. 100,000? You guys should have gone for like 5 million US dollars. And she won. And let me also say this I really love how Red TV is pushing the narrative of all you need to do is to learn chess and maybe. Just maybe you, you will find a billionaire that will play chess with you and also bet 100,000 US dollars. Just maybe, yes. But from the way I've spoken about Lara, some might think she's not from a rich home, but you are wrong. She's actually from a very rich home. But she has that syndrome that a lot of rich kids have now. Oh, damn, I've forgotten the name. Chill, first, let me check my dictionary. You guys think I'm joking here. Yeah? Where's this, my? Where is my dictionary? Where is my dictionary? Oh, I found it. People think I joke on this my channel. Let me. Okay. All right. Okay. So it is in page three hundred of the Oxford Dictionary. Okay. Oh yes, they call the syndrome 
longer throat. She also goes to see someone that this show has focused on, someone that in the past have given him so much chances and so much excuses for his mistakes. But he just keeps falling my hand every episode and, and his name is John. He doesn't need no more introduction, he's this guy. He's also this guy. And now, guys, guess what? He is this guy. It's much safer there. Wow. She is hot. But with the other girls, he actually met them at an event. But with Lara, he has known her for a very long time. He was actually the one that took her virginity. Then treat to the wind. Treat fast the five oceans. Past the red desert. Pass the, the hair fire. I'm saying rubbish at this point. Pass the Mexico. But now what they do is just casual nax. I hate that word nax. I, I hate that word. I just wanted to just say it. So you hate it. Nax. Nix. Nakamura. She likes him so much, but you know how guys are now. When we have someone that loves us so much, we tend to not like them back. And that's their relationship. Just simple Nakamura. Other characters they added to the show was Jola, the guy that has found a way to somehow loan everyone in the show money. He just keeps giving. And in this episode, guess what he, he gave? He gave out more money. Why? He's an idiot. We're also introduced to her father, one of the funniest characters in the world. Her dad is so rich that he literally makes people re-knock if the first knock did not sound well. That is, that is goals, man. Go out, my friend. Yes. Coming. Lara is someone that speaks so well, she has a way with words and she's generally someone that is not afraid. I think this is because she comes from a rich home. She meets this man who is apparently the richest man in Nigeria or Africa and at this point, let me be honest, I, I lost track of what happened. She wants to sell her mall, he has the money, he was in the Biafran war and he lost the ability to hear for one part of his ear so she, she could insult him and all he would say is F, F, what did you say? Speak louder please. She massages him because old men do not want to sleep with girls, so they just want to rest. <laughs> but young guys, <laughs> see, 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 see. Young guys, we have the ability to carry a babe up, turn her upside down, spread her. <laughs> First of all, I like how the show is able to take out real life issues and put them in a show. I, I watched this episode and I saw one of the best comments I've ever seen on any channel that states, Lara's episode is the most realistic I have seen. It has happened in my professional field. And I was like, yes, Lara is actually the most realistic character. When we have people like Madame sleep with every man that has a trouser and Shoma that should be in the next Ocean Eleven movie because of how she plans. Then this Omotola chick now went ahead to say something. She said, um, I can totally re You can't relate. These people are spending so much money. Don't even tell me you've gambled a hundred thousand US dollars and you're commenting. People who gamble a hundred thousand million US dollars do not comment. The episode flowed well. It was definitely not boring. I got a little bit confused with the whole technical part when we were all speaking their gibberish. That's just because I'm just a pipe. <laughs> don't mind me. But my expectations are this is actually MTV Sugar and John will soon start feeling pains somewhere that he should not feel pain from. Tell me yours. Mine was obviously useless. And at the end of this video, I would just like to say rest in peace to everyone who died in Kobe's helicopter.
thank you very much for watching there's something to be learned from this covid situation and that is that death doesn't discriminate we might feel like some people are untouchable but nah we should love who we love because we we'll never know when our turn comes i know i sounded all smart but this is the scariest thing i have ever written yes i sent this to a friend and i just read it i don't know i read everything because that end inside but like as i was saying it is very sad but rest in peace kobe oh now for the video i hope you enjoyed yourself um i hope you liked the video was it long enough people i i read the other time and i was like should i make the video long and they were like oh yeah make it long make it like 20 minutes and one day i'm going to upload a a and a a oh hey oh I, I i'm trying to think of a word okay i'm going to upload like a 15 minutes video so that's my question would you want me to upload a 15 minutes video do you people are going to go and start saying yeah prince i'll watch anything you put but watch out after like 10 minutes you guys will be like gosh this is very boring but i'm not going to that's not the question it's just for you to just put it down there um I'm now better. Thank you to everybody who sent me a message in the last video I uploaded asking if I'm better. Yes, I am better. Thank you very much for all the support. It means a lot. We enter 21,000 subscribers. And at this point, we're about to enter 22,000 subscribers. See, listen, I'm telling you the honest truth. I don't have money to be buying, or I don't even, I'm not even that social, like, active. To be like buying subscribers or doing any of the above I, I don't show my face so like i'm not that no i'm interested in subscribers yes i want you guys to subscribe but i'm not interested in like going through mago mago way or like um, buying different things so like it shocks me when i see the, the amount of subscribers i've been getting recently i really appreciate everyone that subscribes to me it's it's, it's organic i hope because <laughs> I just hope it's organic. I don't know if someone is buying it for me somewhere else. But thank you guys very much for um, for always coming back and like reaching to this point where I'm saying rubbish and you guys are still like listening. You guys are the real OGs. And the question of the day, because it feels like I just keep asking the same question. Because I don't even know if I'm even recording. I should probably check if I'm okay to share first. Oh my goodness, imagine if I've just been here for like 30. Oh yeah, I'm still recording. It's like 23 minutes recorded. This video is going to be 10 minutes. So you can imagine the amount of like bloopers that I had to cut out. But the question of today is, what phone are you using? Yes, I want, I've always wanted to ask. What phone are you using? Like the brand to the end. Do you understand? Because um, my, I, I made a new friend and she, oh my God, this baby is proud. This part is for her because I know she's going to listen. Well, like, this baby is proud, man baby's proud about her phone so i'm asking you guys what um um what phone are you using tell me down in the comment section i hope you like the video i'm going to just keep it short here thank you guys for watching it really means a lot um i will catch us hey hey oh, 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 on the next one bye greet your family and friends hug them tell them you love them because like you never know bye